Did you look at him? He's oh. looking at himself eating. Oh. <laughs> We're good, right, Daddy boy? Daddy boy, you good? Daddy, you like it? You like it? Okay. As long as you like it, Daddy. charging me I think because it says on it says on the sign that five dollars five gallons is three dollars but I have a six gallon tank okay so they're charging me four fifty they said that one gallon is seventy five cents all right it says on the sign one gallon of alkaline water is seventy five cents now, they're charging me $4.50 for six gallons. The sign there says five gallons for $3. Now, if you fill up my six gallon tank, and five gallons is $3, and one gallon is 75 cents, it should cost me $3.75 to fill up the six gallon tank. But, it's costing me four dollars and fifty cents and that's costing me 75 cents you know pete owns that spot what does it say clean water and ice express i'm gonna have to talk to the owner about that because something's not right she says the worker lady says that it's part of the procedures and we're charging you for two three gallons because we charge three gallons for two dollars and 25 cents she says so she said the six gallon is equal to two three gallons and i'm like yeah but the six gallon is also equal to one five gallon and one one gallon which is equal to three dollars and 75 cents so there's something up here i gotta correct this mistake it's mind-boggling so hopefully the next time I go there, I'll be able to save 75 cents towards my next purchase of water. All right, thank you. Is there a mealybug? On my hands. I put vinegar water, I always put vinegar inside the water when I rinse these leaves out for the um, vegetables. And there's actually a bunch of ants, and ants always move the mealybugs around and the aphids. There they are. Some mealybugs crawling on my fingers. Where did that go? There's a mango fell. Some mealybugs. Mealybugs crawling on my hands. So I was out there, um... Pulling weeds out of the soil, so my fingers are. These are mealybugs. These are seeds. So basically, this is a mixture of mealybugs and seeds. It's another mealybug. The seeds are from this crop. All these leaves, this leaf crop, and it can also be a seed crop. It's a type of amaranth. See those mealybugs in here. To focus on them, they're like trying to swim around. Well, they are swimming around, but they're trying to survive. There's some ants, those are red ants. Some more mealybugs, see if I can locate them. Some right there, right there. See them? They're moving around. A bunch in here. This ant over here, where is he? He's like scuba diving around. <laughs> I found a couple caterpillars on the leaves too. I don't use any insecticides on this stuff. There's some mealybugs right there. 
a bunch in there. You found a caterpillar? Right I found a little caterpillar, but I tossed him when he was in the yard. I could feel ants crawling on me. I don't know if there's ants or mini, mini bug right there. Yeah, see? It's in my hair. <laughs> my, it's in my hair. It's on my uh, arm. There's a mealy bug. See it? Look. I'm recording on my arm. See it crawling through my hair? Yeah. You're not the one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one there on my hand. Yeah, this is a bunch. But basically, you just mix this around. There's a bread ants in it. Yeah. They'll, you know, they'll die off. I put vinegar in the water. Um... I'm just trying to use, like, I guess my common sense to understand that since they, these insects have a exoskeleton made of calcium carbonate, they're not going to really like any, any acid in the water because it's going to uh, react with their calcium carbonate shell or exoskeleton. There's an ant on me. There. Red ants. Had a bunch got bit by like ten of these earlier, but it's minor. Not like the little little fire ants. So I just soak it up. That's how we clean the vegetables. And then I'll rinse it out, wash them again like three more times. <clears throat> just to get all the uh, insects off. And these are all these seeds, there's seeds floating around everywhere. I'm gonna plant a bunch of this amaranth later on so here's what the seeds look like An early version of the inflorescence this came off of a small branch these are young inflorescence I don't think there's any seed in there right now but. here it goes I'll show you how it's done tip it in here Get it? Sunigang mix. Mmm. Mmm. So I put Sunigang mix. Um, tropical Kool Aid. Soy sauce. A little bit of vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, that is. And crushed hot pepper and water. Then I mixed it up. Looks like this after you dip the mango in. Get the sauce on it. It just tastes so good. Mm. This guy, he found out about Oreos. <laughs> Daddy gave him Oreos. He's trying to eat two Oreos at once. He's trying to pull a Daddy. That's why I call him Daddy. Cause he does daddy type of stuff. I'm still eating mango. I gave my boy a couple bites, a little Victor boy, earlier. He likes mango, it's kind of sour for him. But. I don't think he can handle the, the pika, the hot pepper. Uh, Oreos. I actually went to the store today and I purchased a gigantic box of Oreos. Mama. Yeah. That's right. All done. No more. I think you ate enough Oreos for the next couple of days. <laughs> this guy. Evidence of. Jeez, son. When these mangoes are ripe, they're very hairy. Like they got fibers all inside of the meat. But when they're not fully ripe yet, mm. it's so delish. Go for money. Where's the veggies? Sit up in here. I'm just gonna throw them in the, uh, in the soup. That's the that I cooked last night. This is Kulitis amaranth leaves. So I just got some tenola 
Whoa. Just the way, uh-huh. Just pop it in there. Punch in the garden. Just cover it. Good to go. There it is. Boiling in there, the leaves. Yes. Mango. Peeled mango. And I am putting it in the sauce that I made. Which is Sinigang Mix. Kool-Aid. Tropical Punch flavor. And soy sauce. And apple cider vinegar. And crushed hot pepper and water. And it is it is delightful. This is so delightful. It's like candy. Here we are. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Every time. Every time. It works. Every time. like candy it is just like candy it's like a mango tropical punch sinigang sweet and sour candy freaking great so good it usually takes me a while to eat one because I keep dipping it in the sauce. The flavor is just so pungent, and just sweet, sour, and spicy. All those flavors just mixed together. With the texture of the mango and the sweetness of the mango. Mm. Candy. I am going to be really sad when mango season's over. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm going through like withdrawals and stuff. There it is. On Guam during mango season, gotta bust out the tamarind and the sinigang mix and that Kool Aid. And the hot pepper. Is that salt? With the hot pepper. Mm. See, but this mango is like half ripe, but still crunchy. That's my favorite. I believe we call this uh, mango toa. There's like different types of mango. Well, there's. The same type of mango, but different stages of ripeness. And this stage is called Toa. I'm turning yellow already. So I just checked the spot and it's going off. It's like six foot. It's heavy. West swell. <clears throat> it's too dark to surf. I almost paddled out, but it was just super hairy. I didn't get any footage, but uh, Tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up super early, and I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna hit up the spot. I'm gonna longboard extreme, and um, yeah. So see you in the morning.